Be very, very quiet. We're hunting for rabbits. Good morning. It's myself and Jack again this morning. Tucked in. Going to see if we can't get ourselves a king. I got. I'm going to start off with a shiver stick in the bigger size. What do you got on? I've just got a float out of a. He's got half, half a muley with a float. Just so I like it for South Organized. We got a couple of crayfish in the burley. And today. We're stepping up our burley plan a little bit. We've got a couple of pies and a couple of sausage rolls. So I'll whack a couple of those in the burley pot for good luck. That should be nice and oily and greasy. It's probably better in the burley pot than in my arteries anyway. So we're going to have a crack and hopefully we can get onto some kings again. I had a bit of a shot yesterday and didn't really have any luck. Didn't even see one. We've got a heap of herring though. But... Um, yeah, hopefully we can turn it on. It's actually quite pleasant in here today. The swell's down. It's, it's a bit of chop, but I don't feel the least bit threatened in here today. It actually feels quite comfortable in here, so that's a bonus compared to usual. Oh, sick! It ate it like right here. I was just, work, yeah. just about to lift it out of the water, and it just snapped it. He's a good size skunk, yeah. too. He's a really good size. It just came out of nowhere. I was just lifting it out of the water and he just grabbed it right off the surface. Hey? Look at Skippy's on surface, Lewis. <laughs> just got a follow. Jack just got a follow by a small king there. Followed his stick bait in. But there was a bit of seaweed on his stick bait so I didn't totally commit. But we definitely saw him. Oh, yeah, and I'm in. There we go. King on stack. Oh, so I've got... <laughs> I had a bit of an unfortunate incident with my buddy Shiver Stick and it went to the bottom and I lost the big one so I'm down to a small line here which is an 85 mil. Work okay. it. This is only a small fish. But it's a king on stick it's bait. A king on stick bait <laughs> which is what we've been doing. That's the for goal. A few weeks. Oh I don't think he's ready. I don't even have the net set up. <laughs> Oh, he's going oh man, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Got him. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So he's got the little CID shiver stick there. I just lost my bigger one to the bottom, which I'm a bit upset about. He's a beautiful little fish. He is. He's not the, the bigger dog we were hoping for, but still a nice looking fish. Uh. <laughs> this is another one, I think. That was a half mealy I just lobbed back there. This oh, is the yeah, that's fish, a think. better fish. I've seen that. Yeah. That was half a mealy I just lobbed back while I was playing around getting the burly going. Yeah, he's way better. Yeah. I'm on 30 pound now and I'm not messing around. Oh, I, I feel like that. I need to get the net ready, eh? Yeah, this one might want the net. Oh, he's going for the reef too, Have that's I got cool. That on the right that's not convenient for me, buddy. Don't go over there. Come over this way. So I got 30 pound, like, pretty... Oh, yeah, I've got it up pretty tight here. Because I feel like if we start getting any bigger ones in this, we're just going to have to start fishing oh, yeah. harder, and we just need to harden up, Jack. Yeah. We need These to stop nice. fishing light drags and just go for it. Sick. <laughs> He's a stunning fish. He's coming with a bit of good seaweed job, for good man. luck as well. <laughs> Oh, Jack, come on, dude. <laughs> Got to get one. And Jack still hasn't still caught a king ever. King. Come on, Jack. <laughs> it's your turn, bro. Wow. He's nice, man. I can't put you in the zone any more than I have the last three weeks in a row. <laughs> there you go. He's a better looking fish. He is. He's nice, nice. man. Nice. How much fun are these fish in this shallow little water like this? It's just so cool. Amazingly cool set. Oh, All right. Should we keep one for... I reckon we should, eh? I want to try one. All right, we're going to keep this guy. Yeah. We'll keep this guy and we'll slab him up and maybe do some sashimi or... Yeah, Ceviche? Reckon. Have you ever done ceviche? I have never done it. I've never done it either, but try, sashimi, I've seen it done. 
but they, they cook up nice just fillets anyway. Yeah. Alright, I'll put this guy out of his misery and Jack's gonna get one, surely. Hopefully. <laughs> but I, just because I'm switching this little Helco Brewster popper, it's just a small popper, I'm gonna try and see if I can't get one on a popper. They seem to be hanging around out the back of the boat here. It's the pies, Jack. It's the pies? Yeah, or was that um, spinach and ricotta sausage roll, mate? It must be vegetarians. They're loving it. So I'm going to throw this popper around, but look how beautiful it is in here. So clear. The skippy going nuts at the back of the boat here. It's just a magic place to fish. We actually wanted to try around the back of the reef today because I feel like the bigger ones might be around the back and the swell is down a little bit today but it's still a bit sketch so in here is nice and safe we're happy in here i feel like we got no issues in here today look how beautiful this part it's so clear and you can see the fish hitting your baits and hitting your lures it doesn't get much better than that so everything's gone quiet since we caught that last fish we've been here probably another hour or so and haven't seen anything even all the skippy are buggered off from out of the Burley Trail. The breeze, as usual, the forecast is wrong, was meant to be offshores and it's swung around sort of south, southwest if anything. But we're gonna, we're gonna pull the pick up and maybe go around the back of the reef and have a look around there and anchor up in some slightly deeper water and see if we can't find them out behind the reef. Um, I feel like the bigger ones probably live out behind there. We just normally can't get near it because of the swell, but we cruise along a bit and check out a few different ones and see if we can't find somewhere else to anchor up and get into some more of them hopefully i don't know if we scared them by catching the ones here and they bugger off after that or i don't know we're still learning uh, but it's good fun to learn eh? Oh, absolutely <laughs> and jack still hasn't caught one so i'm really one. determined to get him onto one so we're going to try <laughs> somewhere else and see if we just can't get onto a couple more um soulfix merch you want soulfix shirts soulfixfishing.com jump online 30 bucks but we're going to cruise along and have a look at a couple of other reefs and we'll possibly fish oh, we're not finished fishing are we we never no, are one more cast one more cast, oh, yeah. one more cast. we'll go for a cruise and see what we can find they look so good through the camera eh? that's one way to do it wow That's where you want your stick bait, eh, in there. Wow. So much potential. There's just so much potential around here. Just today's not the day now. The sea breeze is kind of whipped up and it's got to be ugly. But these are just random bombies. They're not even like proper reefs. And the potential, look at this. Look how nice it is. you want to be looking for. Look at that. And these beautiful sandy channels off the side here. How deep we got on that? Three metres. Yeah, today's just not really the day to sit in here with the sea breeze blowing us back towards. I really want it easily to blow me that way so if anything happens we're blowing out to sea, not blowing straight into the reef like that. But it's pretty cool to see, like, really nice to see. So much potential for the future. We're just gonna keep on doing this for the next while and to see what we can come up with. I this think looks like, very fishable, eh? Oh, that, that looks fishable. You can almost stop here today, I think. Yeah. We could probably stop here today. The swell's not really coming through here like it was at the other spot. All right, let's stop here. Give it 20 minutes? Yeah, go on. Alright, 20 minutes. <laughs> Can't help ourselves. We changed our mind. There's, Look at that swell. Yeah, there's a few swells coming through. It's just not... That guy doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, we changed our mind. Anyway, we're going to bed down the coast and we got Jack's Cray Pot, so we'll pull Jack's Cray Pot and I'll speak to you when we get there. Hopefully we got another full pot of crazy yeah. again. Oh, we did last week. That was a bonus. Here's the lucky pot. It's a seven day pull today, so I don't know. 
We got lucky last week, we'll see how we go. Oh, I've totally shanked it here because I'm too busy talking and not driving enough. Yeah, I'll just screw around gently. We're coming around, we're right. I don't want to power on too much because we'll just... Yeah, I'll miss it. Full pot would be nice. Yeah, the water's so clear at the moment, eh? We're in eight metres here, you can see the bottom clear as. Looks really cool. Oh, Jack, what do we got? Oh, hang on. There's a few. There's something. Oh, there's got to be one or two sizes. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of geese. No, there's actually. Again? We've got a few again. The seven day pool. Every pool's on the spot, eh? This works. Seven days, and last week we didn't even have any bait. All we used was um, muleys out of the barley yeah. pot. Oh, we <laughs> used the leftover muleys from the barley pot last week. How they lasted a week, I don't know. Yeah. They just must have all gone on the first night and stuck in there. There's a couple of sizes oh, yeah. there yeah, for sniffs. Can't be unhappy with that. Five size crazy out of the pot. There's not even one small one in there. Yeah. So last week we got six and they were all size, and today we've got five and they're all size off a seven day pool. And that was just with, yeah, the old Burley and that, the old muleys as barely, as um, the muley, barely muleys for bait. Some of them are decent looking yeah, baits too. Yeah, some of them, a couple of them are so cool. Oh, the breeze is fairly wet up now. That's it for us anyway today, we're heading in, got stuff to do. It's only just gone 8.30 so the morning's still early, go spend some time with the family. Luckily we got this breeze behind us for the run back up the coast, which is not going to be too bad. Uh, if you like our stuff, see you in the next episode, thanks for watching.